Madam, stop. please. No. Uh, yeah, I'll be right with you. I know you're <laughs> up there. Oh, marvelous. There she is. Just what I need, the crazy wood nymph. Can't a man take a bath in peace? What the hell is that? It's a panther. Oh, you savage. And a nice clean one now, too. This is going above the mayor's bed. Okay, uh, Mrs. Hobbs will be by to handle the taxidermy. Oh, travel safe, my friend. Wait, who are you? Where's Cecil? Glenn. I'm a friend of his. Cecil had to take a few days off. Mm-hmm. For stress. Is there any <laughs> animal that you have not slaughtered? Oh, you flatter me, Miss Sorry, Davenport. I really will be right with the you. The answer's no, but I'm retired, as you know, and have been for some time. Yes, and how many have you out there killing for you now? Not nearly enough, I'm afraid. Business is booming. What about you there? You a hunter? Gus McMillan, master craftsman of fine clothing and accessories. Here's my card. I pay top dollar for animal furs and parts. The rarer, the Don't better. Don't listen to him. Unbelievable. How do you sleep at night? On the tiger bed spread, my dear. Seriously, come see You're me. You're no better than a murderer. And one day, you'll be seen as such. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Would you mind taking us outside? I don't want to Shut cover. up, Glenn. Listen, soon as a squirrel finds a cure for tuberculosis, let's talk. If intelligence is the barometer oh, of who has geez. the right to live or die, you should have been court-martialed at birth. Annoying, isn't she? <laughs> see him? The only thing he had on his mind was hunger, sweetheart, but I pulled the trigger. Survival of the fittest, didn't that your mentor's trite catchphrase? It's not survival of the fittest. You are killing to line this your own pockets. This is how I make my living. We don't all have a rich daddy. While you're camped out in the woods, making witches brews and talking to the wildlife, the rest of us are doing some you real work. You think this is some big joke? Oh, oh, that, that's what enough! What the ah, hell is that? Ah, Crazy ah, shrimp. Ah, ah, they ah, should ah. throw you in an asylum. <laughs> That's it! I quit! You can tell the mayor I've gone home! <sighs> oh, <laughs> sorry about that awful man. Harriet Davenport, I've been in the field now for three years, studying the hidden interconnections between animals of all species. <laughs> I've seen everything. <laughs> Joy, disgust, regrets, envy. <sighs> We're so much more alike than we are different. I'm on the brink of discovering the pathways that link all life. I, I just need more research material. I have in here detailed notes on pretty much every animal from Armadillo to Annisburg, including the locations of some truly impressive varieties. I would be willing to sell this to you if you will commit to bringing me anatomical samples from live species and <sighs> promise not to carry out any more animal side in pursuit of Gus McMillan's greed. I'll pay you, I'll pay you, of course. I promise I'm good for the money. Let's learn from nature, not destroy it. Come on, I, I see something in you. Excellent, excellent. Oh, we've been brought together for a reason. I strongly feel that. I've been experimenting with tonics that can provide access to remarkable new pathways of communication with other species. You have to live as they do, eat as they eat, hop as the toad, dig as the mole, love as the badger. <laughs> if you see what I've seen, you just have to open your mind. Join me on a voyage of discovery. Okay, then, let's get you kitted out.
This is about as close to strawberry as I plan to get for the time being. I don't need another run-in with Miss Davenport. Just got word of some sightings not too far. A respectable figure these days, I hear. hidden away in this land. Their voices are nearly deafening. What's caught your eye there? All right, that's fine. All good things to those who wait, so wait. We're in a war here. Gus McMillan and his Philistine horde are one spear point in an army of invaders that want to rip this land up by its roots and plaster the ruins with cheap houses and totems of their barbary. That can't happen. A regiment of Macmillan's horde have settled in the area and are claiming the local wildlife as their prize. I need you to strike back. I need you to remind Gus and his dead-eyed brutes what it feels like to be on the receiving end. Just be careful what gets caught in the crossfire. This war is already too costly.
changed into a goddamn other. But thank you. I used to make a living putting a bullet in folks like us. <sighs> Some living. Mustn't forget to check that trap in the morning. See what we got for dinner.